So for this question, there are two equations we can set up. The first one is for energy. So we know that when the particles are far away from each other, their total kinetic energy is going to be equal to the electric potential energy they had before. And the electric potential energy is given by this expression. And so this is the first equation we can get. The second relationship is through momentum. And then we know that uh, because the initial system had no momentum, everything was still, right? So when these two particles are flying apart from each other, their momentums are going to be the same. So using these two relationships, we can derive VA and VB. So let's try to so let's try to find VB first. So I'm going to start with this equation. So once again, this is equal to the electric potential energy they had before between them. And then for this expression here, I'm going to multiply NA and then divide it by NA. And the reason I do that is because the, the square of these two terms is just the square of NB, right? So I can actually change this to NB squared, VB squared, plus one half NB, VB squared. Then it's equal to that. So now everything, the only unknown we have is VB squared. So we can pull that out and try to rearrange the constants. So you can see that essentially we're actually almost done. So actually I can get rid of the one half. This becomes two pi epsilon. QA, QB divided by A. So VB is equal to one over two pi epsilon. And then here we have QA, QB, A, and then for this expression here, we I'm gonna pull out the MB. So we have one plus MB divided by MA. And then there's going to be a square root. And then I can actually rearrange this a little bit to make it look a bit better. So let's, let's open a new page. So bb is equal to square root 2 pi epsilon qa qb. And then in the denominator, you can see that I can actually multiply an a inside. So I'm going to multiply this whole thing by ma divided by ma. And then this thing is going to, I can multiply the MA inside this bracket, so this becomes NA, and this goes away. And then by doing that, the answer is going to look a lot, a lot nicer. So we get MA plus MB, so we get rid of this. And then so this is has gone inside. So on the outside, we have an MA divided by MB. So this is a nice expression. So VB is equal to this. And then for VA, we can actually do the exact same thing. And then because due to symmetry, we can actually deduce that the only thing different between these two answers is that MB and MB have to switch positions. So MB and MB switching positions, that doesn't really matter for this part. So for this part, we get MB divided by MA. So that is why I rearranged the answer like this, so it's much easier to switch. So here are your velocities, your speeds.